Hi, my name is Mindy Lightheight, and this here is Super Splat. Today we're in my art studio, and we're going to talk about brush etiquette. What do you think about that, Splat? He's very excited. One of the things that neither one of us can handle is when people leave their brushes in the water. Isn't that a terrible thing? Splat thinks it's a terrible thing. So let's go, Splat, over and show people how to properly take care of our brushes. Okay. How are you going to paint detail if your brush looks like this? Your brush should always look like this. This is a wonderful brush. I don't care if you use a $50 brush or a $10 brush or a $1 brush. This brush is a brush that I purchased 15 years ago and it actually cost me about $15. So if you think about it, it's been working for me for 15 years at about a dollar a year and that's pretty darn good. So if you look at this, you'll see that it has a really nice point, it's very clean, and it looks like it could have possibly been purchased not that long ago. But this brush, no kidding, it's 15 years old. Do your brushes look this good? Splat had to uh, go on an adventure, so he's left me here all by myself. Do you leave your brush in the water? Because if you do, it's going to look like this. Wouldn't you much rather have your brush look like this? Okay, so here I have the brush that uh, has been not cleaned properly over years and I'm going to try and make some just some thick to thin lines that would be uh, used in in detail painting and see if I can't get some nice thick and thin lines. Well I'm certainly getting thick. I'm trying to get this to maybe roll and get into a point. That's about as good as I'm going to get here with this brush. Now I'm going to take the same brush, but one that has been taken good care of, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I've got thick, and it goes tapers into thin. Let's see if I can even get place a little bit of soap detergent in the palm of my hand and then I'm going to gently pull the brush towards me. Okay. If you do this with your brush, you're going to end up with your brush looking like this one does. If you continue to pull this way, your brush, all of the fibers will stay aligned. The next thing that I do is I actually go to this silver part of the brush, which is called the ferrule, where all of the fibers are aligned and down into the shaft. At the ferrule, I actually come in where the water is and I use my thumb and I splay apart right at the ferrule to get any of the paint that might have been dried or may have come just stuck in there a little bit more and again I push out to align the fibers. Everything I do is in keeping with aligning those fibers. Now that the, the water is clear it means that the brush has no more paint in it. I turn the water off and I'm going to get a paper towel and one of the things that I want you to do before you before you uh, leave the sink is you're going to take your brush and twirl it. So you're actually going to twirl and as you do it takes those fibers and it aligns them so that they will come into a nice 
point just the way you bought it when you got it at the store. This is what your brush should look like. Thank you for joining me for this brush care tutorial. To see more of my tutorials, go to botanicalartpainting.com. This is Mindy Lighthype, and I'll see you soon. Happy painting!